Every year, the Yuthi Yindi Foundation takes a moment to honour those who have led the way in northeast Arnhem Land that are doing some heroic work. Our region is vibrant and unique. We have an assorted community that absorbs the daily challenges of living in our remote region. This year, we pay homage to four outstanding education pathways that have been making tirelessly creative outcomes for our children and families. Together, we will acknowledge their efforts and celebrate their hard work. So let me tell you about our first amazing heroes. The first Homeland School was, create, was started at Gathalala in 1970s, when the Homeland Movement started in North East Arnhem Land. Then in 1990, Lanapoi Homeland School was started. Today there are 10 Homeland Schools throughout the North East Arnhem Land. The Homeland Schools are varying distance from Yakala and of, often difficult access offer often difficult access to each school and delivering education to students unable to attend regional schools in the area. These schools are the classrooms of the Yakala Homeland Schools, ranging in size from 20 to 60 students, with multi-age classes catering for students from early to senior years. The teachers and staff are dedicated and resilient, and their work is an inspiration to others Australia-wide. From the outset, the school has been utilising Indigenous ideas about well-being in its curriculum to improve student results and attendance and to help students grow their self-respect and respect for others. This year, we honour this school, its Yungo leaders, teachers, students and community as Yungo heroes. Lena Point Homeland Schools, please come up and accept your Yungo Heroes Award. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, and you know, now, Homeland School, or the Naragan Jama, the Gartala. This is my first time, Marang and Maram, Dokanga Marang, a day award for Gartala Homeland School, Ka, Honor School, Malanyawanga, and Nakon, Kangan, Wanda. Ah, Gurumro God, I'm thinking. And this is my first time that I got my award. I'm going to thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank For decades, our next amazing school has driven the agenda for bilingual education, a commitment that continues to this day. The Yakala School is nationally renowned for its leaders and teachers and is universally admired and respected. As part of the students' both ways bilingual studies at school and the Galmatha, Rom and Gama Maths curriculum has become a model for remote Indigenous learning using Yungo language and culture as a basis of the curriculum. Often defying shifting government policies, Yakala School has for over 40 years been guided by their community to support their children best and has offered bilingual education in the children's first language, Duawe and Yungo Mata language and English. Dedicated young all teachers are integrated into the school and its well-being of are integral to the well-being of this school and the children. Yakala School is also allowing present generations of children who are familiar with modern technology to engage with an iPad app, Yakuga Rikoke, to introduce phonic skills in the first language of Duwe. And this is the year we honour this school, its founders, leaders, students and supporters as Yungo heroes. Congratulations to Yakala School. Please come and accept your Yungo Heroes Award.
at the moment, Yirkala Literacy Production Center is scanning, <coughs> cataloging, and um, archiving everything that is in there. There are about 20 odd boxes that needs to be done. It's going to take a long time, but we'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. One more round of applause. They're a brilliant school. <laughs> Our third Yungo hero is Dupumabaka, an independent school in the Gungyagara community of East Arnhem Land. Opened in April of 2021, the school offers 40 Yungo children from kindergarten to year six a bilingual education with a culturally relevant curriculum spe specifically designed for this community. The Yothu Yindi Foundation invited Barker College, Studio Schools Australia and Melbourne University to partner on a whole life education project that provides on-country learning for young people from early childhood education to university. Students at Dupama Barker have access to quality primary education and are provided with educational opportunities without having to leave their community. Blending the Australian curriculum with traditional Yungal teachings, Dupama Babaka will build students' English language skills with a foundation in Yungal Mata, empowering these young people to walk in two worlds with dignity and confidence. The vision with for Dupama Babaka is the 21st century in a network of educational institutes that will work as one hub, providing education and opportunity for Yungal people in East Arnhem Land for childhood to adulthood, a partnership between Barker College and the Yothu Yindi Foundation. Dupama Barker is Yungal leaders, teachers, students, and parents are very worthy Yungal heroes. Congratulations, Dupama Barker. Please come and accept your Yungal Award. Thank you. Um, first of all, most of you um, might recognise me or not. I do the um, opening ceremony in Garma every year. And I want to thank um, my uncle, late uncle, Dr. G. Unipingu, AM, for his um, vision. It was his vision that became reality. And um, I want to thank the Jamarkuli kids and the family. And I'm so proud of my community. And they've um, also went to Dallas for um, a robotic challenge and um, made us all proud not just us but the Australia thank you Wonderful. can we please give them another round of applause so last but not least let me tell you about culture college as a not-for-profit registered Aboriginal corporation and charity Weaving Yungal and Balanda together, the Culture College program is founded on the Yungal worldview of Dauch Manapan Mira, Yungal and Balanda coming together to find balance. Culture College provides unique, tailored educational opportunities for students, teachers, professionals, and executives from outside Northeast Arnhem Land who learn together with Yungal through a culturally responsive platform. The programs and engagements are directed through the cultural vision and knowledge of Jalkiri Yungal Foundation and the Yungal leaders who work hard in hand with the college. Always the idea is to learn with Yungal on country and learn the Yungal way. For these experiences to shape a new way forward on a reconciled Australia. The Yungal leaders, the staff, students and cultural advisors all work tirelessly 
and our true Yungle heroes. Culture College, please come up and accept your Yungle Heroes Award and congratulations. Good morning, Bokmak. Manmak. Yo, we are celebrating Yungle excellence. Jambach. Not here, but here. Inside. And uh, it's a great honor uh, to stand here with my family to receive this award. But also um, thanking um, Youth Indy Foundation for the partnership that we have um, now created. And, um, you know, it's based on cultural maintenance. And thank you to all the Yolngo, early Yolngo um, academic educators who have paved the way for, um, you know, for the rest, rest of the Yolngo to walk that path. At Culture College, it's more than tourism, cult cross-cultural tourism. We're taking it to another level now. It's based on um, cultural maintenance and um, teaching Yolngo curriculum to a wider audience uh, to bring unity and create more Jambach people out there. Um, we've got a new, new wave of, look at Australia, we, you've got a new wave of uh, young people that's going to come up with a different perspective into Australian, true Australian history. Yeah, we're raising up uh, true young leaders that's going to have open-minded, open-hearted, and Yolngo and Balanda are going to walk together. Yeah, we, we are actioning reconciliation at its highest level. Good morning. I'll first of all say about the Culture College program. Culture College now has the name Culture College Aboriginal Corporation from its regional based on the roots of the grassroots people. Marcus, him, him spoke before me, we are board members of the Culture College program, but not only board member, but a cultural mentor in all of the programs that is delivered to the schools down from the southern states that come up to enjoy what it's like in through this warring of beauty and excellence and everything else this falls place. Truly and honestly, this program is going beautifully in the ripple effects of what we deliver in this country and in Gokola. Thank you, Yotini Foundation. Thank you for your support. Thank you, community. And thank you all for coming and, and receiving and witnessing our achievements. You must has come, Jabri, thank you. Well spoken. Um, I, I'll say a short thing because I think I, I not think I am a part of this group. Um, so you know this is something that is a self-generated body. We don't depend on government for now for any funding, but we do a lot of things through culturally. And uh, the kids come from all over Australia to be with us, and we share our knowledge, give them that, to take back what real people on earth is all about. And this is something of a great achievement today for my family here, from Rorui, Ninike, Bukudal, Kair Kalabaka, Mangmak. Thank you very much and congratulations. Marcus, go. And furthermore, the Culture College program will again be on the government grounds in two weeks' time. Where 